All right, now One UI 6.1 brought in some amazing features on the Galaxy phones, which we all are using. And I have discussed most of the features in my previous videos on the channel, but there are about five features which I want to discuss in this video, which I haven't discussed yet, and you may or may not know these features. Before we go ahead, if you're interested in this uh, cool looking gradient wallpaper, you can download it from the link in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. So go ahead and download the wallpapers from all my previous videos. You will find some amazing ones uh, do check my previous videos and download them. Now let's go ahead. Now let's say I have opened multiple applications in pop-up window. Let me open this app in pop-up view. Let me also open a few other applications here. Uh, I'll open calculator in pop-up view and I'll also open the messaging app in pop-up view. Now we have got about three different applications in pop-up view. Now in the previous version of One UI, we could not really open all these uh, pop-up windows at one go, but now that is possible. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. You see when I minimize these pop-up windows uh, you will see the icon when you tap on that it just expands and we could open each window at once uh, on the previous versions but now when you tap on this icon you see it expands and you also get an all new button here uh, with this arrow you can just tap on that we will be able to see all the uh, pop-up windows at one go you see I've got this pop-up window here the galaxy store when I move it around you can also see this particular window here and this one so we can open multiple windows now on one device 6.1 which is just fantastic that is the first feature which i want to talk about in this video let's move on to the second one this feature is called voice input without leaving the keyboard let me show you that let me open the keyboard here now you see on the keyboard we get the mic button right here at the bottom left corner which was not there earlier we had the mic button right here on this bar whenever you tap on the mic button the keyboard will disappear and you will be able to see only the mic option right there. But now we have got the mic button here at the bottom left corner on One UI 6.1's keyboard. I can just tap on that and start talking to uh, type whatever I want here. At the same time, I have an access to the keyboard as well, which is just amazing. Now, I'm not sure whether you have noticed this feature or not. Drop a comment and let me know. The next feature I want to talk about is broadcasting the sound from your phone with Aura Cast feature. Now, let me open the Bluetooth settings here and I'll tap on details. Now here on the top right, I'll tap on this three dot button. You see, we have got something called broadcast sound using AuraCast. I'll tap on this. Now you see here, it says broadcast the sound from this phone so others can listen. Now I will be able to play anything on this phone and start the broadcast so that the others can connect this phone's broadcast and listen to whatever I am playing on the phone. Now let me just tap on start broadcast here. It says, to hear what you are broadcasting, at least one Bluetooth LE audio device needs to be connected to your phone. While broadcasting, sounds from your phone can only be heard on Bluetooth devices that are connected to the broadcast. So we need to have an AuraCast supported uh, audio device uh, which has to be connected on the phone and others whoever wants to listen to this broadcast from your phone must have a Bluetooth LE audio device. Now, If I'm not wrong, the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro has got this LE audio function. So we just have to make sure the audio your device will support this aura cast so that you can hear the broadcast now this is an amazing feature probably i will deep dive into this in a separate video i will make a specific video for this uh, drop a comment and let me know if you guys want that video the next feature is called relumino outline now this is an accessibility feature we can turn on relumino outline in accessibility settings to highlight the outlines of objects in images and videos to make them easier to distinguish for people with low vision now this feature is not for everyone this is for people with low vision now let me just open the settings here and go to accessibility and here I'll tap on vision enhancements. You see we've got this all new option called Relumino outline. When I enable this, you see all the images on the phone will get this outline and this provides better visibility for people with low vision. Let me just go back and show you how it looks. You see all these icons uh, will uh, look like this. Let me open messages. Let me open a phone dialer. You see all the images or objects on the phone has got this outline for better visibility. The last feature I want to talk about is customizing the reminder alert. Let me open reminder application here. I'll tap on the hamburger menu, tap on settings. Now here you see an all new feature or all new option, alert background. Now uh, we can choose an image or color for the background of your alerts. I will tap on this. You see we have got multiple different backgrounds here. And if you want to select a particular image from the gallery for the background for your alerts, you can do that by tapping on this uh, gallery icon here. Now I wish 
we had an option to select different background for different reminders but it looks like we just have one option to customize the background for all the reminders now whenever you select a particular background uh, you will get the same background for all the reminder uh, alerts that you get on the phone i wish we could customize for each and every reminder let's say i want to uh, select a different background for this particular reminder i don't have that option even if i tap on edit i don't get an option to set a background for this particular reminder uh, it is one common background that we can set for uh, all the reminders across this application so that's a bummer i hope uh, samsung adds that feature in the future now these are some amazing features uh, which i have not discussed in the past and this may be useful for some of you guys out there who have not explored them yet that's about it that's all i want to share with you guys let me know what do you think about these features are you aware of these uh, have you been using them drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video useful thanks for watching my name is salian signing off Cheers, bye-bye.